previously on Cool Fuel Road Trip. Oh, don't let it die. Oh, the cars were hot. Yes, Guzla. The fuel was hot, and the crew were steaming. I don't know where I am. This week, Sean's on the hunt. And who are you, young man? For restaurant grease and soybean oil in the Northwest. I hope this works. And it's powering Jack Johnson and Jackson Brown, too. Vegetable oil, grease, soybeans, they all make a cool fuel called biodiesel that can run any diesel engine. So the challenge is to try and convince people to let us... Who are you, young man? ...stick it in their cars. I hope this works. Our cool fuel this week, biodiesel. How good's this? Howard and his family, say good day everyone. Yay! <laughs> fixed Barky and I up in Southern Oregon and they're traveling in a normal diesel car running on 100% biodiesel made from soybean oil. Unlike in California, Sean's really winging it on this challenge. He hasn't got a vehicle, so he's had to hitch a lift with the local family to his first cool fuel pit stop. Hey! Hey! How you doing? Really good, how's it going today? Good, thanks mate. Need some BD? BD. Biodiesel. Made up of 80% vegetable oil and 20% ethanol and can power up any diesel engine. You just gotta find it. Do you do work trade? Absolutely. You wanna do some work trade? Yeah, I'll do some work Yeah, trade. you can do the lawn. Lawn, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no problem. Is that the easiest thing to do? If Sean can get out of paying for his fuel, he will. How good's this? 12 pound mower. You ready to work? Solar mower. Biodiesel. That's right. The deal. Deal. Smooth cut. Hey, have a great biodiesel trip. Sure do, man. All right. The challenge kicks off in Phoenix, Oregon, where we'll try and head north through Portland into Washington State and onto the lighthouse at the US-Canada border using only restaurant grease and soybean oil as fuel. Oh, this thing's purring along. How long have you been driving this on biodiesel? For a year. No problems? Nope, 10,000 miles. Sean only hitched a ride 50 miles with the family, so we're all trying to track him down vehicles that can run him by diesel if he's going to have any chance of getting to the Canadian border. Oh, look at this one. And it's our home, the good old RV, that's the secret to finding fuel and vehicles. The RV is really like the mothership for the whole trip. I mean, we've got high-speed internet going through the satellite dish. We've got solar panels here which charge up everything we need downstairs, so all the computers, the printer, all our batteries are all charged up off the solar. This is great. I can be sitting out in the middle of nowhere under a pine tree with my computer and that allows me to communicate with the outside world so I can find fuel, vehicles, so we can help Sean make it on his trip. It looks like an RV, but it's actually a pretty high-tech machine, this. And without all of this stuff, the trip really just wouldn't be possible. This is the only way that we can track people down. Find the right car for the right region we're in. We're in Oregon? Find one in Oregon. Using the internet through the satellite dish, we can pretty much locate whatever we need. Look at that. He's our man, spark plug. Mr. Sharky! I need a car. That's not much notice. If you could, that'd be uh, that'd be awesome. Spark. We got ourselves a car. Hi! Hello, Sean! Hey! Oregon was about to cough up some seriously strange vehicles. Oh, look at this! This is the EV Pusher. It runs on biodiesel. It's a four-cylinder, 1.6-liter Volkswagen diesel. It's an electric car at the front and a Volkswagen diesel engine on wheels, basically, that's attached to it at the back. That literally pushes it down the road. I've never seen anything like that before. So, in effect, the car itself is doing nothing but steering? Most of the time on the freeway, yes. <laughs> how many of these are there in America? Uh, one that I know of. This is the only one. And how quick will it go? Oh, it goes about 60 miles an hour, 65, no problem. As long as you can find biodiesel, you don't have to stop. One of the most bizarre vehicles I think I've ever seen. We're in business. <laughs> hey! This is the accelerator here. I've got no feet happening. You can see it'll move quicker and quicker. Look at this, foot free. It's just going straight from the hand control. This is seriously groovy. 
The diesel engine was created by Rudolf Diesel way back in the 1800s. And his vision was to run diesel engines on vegetable oils. He ran his first one on peanut oil. He died in 1913, mysteriously, but his legacy lived on. With guys like Tommy and Ian and their mobile biodiesel fueling station. You're asking how to reverse. <laughs> Crazy vehicle, where'd you find this thing? This truck, Sean, is actually a fairly unique truck in that it's the only uh, mobile biodiesel retail unit in the whole Northwest and as far as we know, possibly in the, in the whole country. Actually, this truck goes to uh, Eugene, Portland, and Seattle. Yep. And it's such a young market, we figured this is a good way to move the station to where the market is. With 57 billion gallons of diesel used in the USA each year, restaurant grease and soybean oil as a fuel is about to take off. We were home brewers, we made our own. Everybody was asking us where they could buy it. We couldn't produce enough, so we got into the business of selling it. Full of biodiesel and heading for Portland, a couple of hundred miles up the road. Coming up next, the human car. And a cool fuel concert with Jack Johnson and Jackson Brown. Going about eight miles an hour.